Hello everyone, come back to the discussion which was interrupted at the end of the last session of discussion on the topic uh, electromagnetic wave at the bounded media. Um, hope you all, all enjoy the last session of the discussion and uh, here uh, we are talking about the uh, manner of electromagnetic wave at the boundary surface of two different media especially here I am talking about uh, two different dielectric media with different dielectric constant k1 and k2 and uh, we are going to uh, derive the expression of uh, well known theories associated with reflection and refraction um, of electromagnetic wave by applying the laws of uh, electrodynamics and in order to do that uh, so far we have done um, we have uh, considered uh, an electromagnetic uh, wave ray uh, which uh, comes out and be incident uh, at the point O uh, on the boundary surface of, of two different media with dielectric constant K1 and K2 respectively and uh, after uh, incidence uh, there uh, there be a reflection and also there be a transmission to the uh, second media so reflection uh, reflected wave rays uh, comes back to the first medium and the transmitted wave ray will will transmit through the second medium uh, so uh, the, here it is the uh, incident wave ray and with uh, which makes uh, the angle theta I with the outward normals uh, outward normal of the reflect reflecting surface so it is the angle of incidence and similarly it is the reflected wave ray and it is the angle of uh, reflection and uh, also and this angle theta t is actually the angle of refraction or angle of transmission now uh, we are going to introduce the uh, principle of continuity of the tangential component of the uh, electric field vector associated with uh, an electromagnetic wave at the boundary of two different media that means uh, when an electromagnetic wave ray passes through uh, the boundary of two different media uh, especially here I am talking about uh, boundary of two different dielectric media with uh, different dielectric constant k1 and k2 then uh, the tangential component of uh, electric field will be continuous or the value of uh, um, tangential component of electric field will be same for the two different media that means uh, this principle of uh, continuity of tangential uh, component of the electric field can be written as uh, E2t is equal to E1t where E2t uh, denotes the tangential component of electric field at medium 2 and E1t denotes the tangential component of the electric field at medium 1 so uh, in order to do uh, in order to introduce uh, uh, this introduce this principle of continuity of the tangential component of the electric field and uh, to use it for the analysis of the electromagnetic wave uh, for this specific case we have to uh, first introduce the um, on the vector uh, representation or vector expressions of electric fields associated with this uh, with this uh, electromagnetic wave ray uh, let us uh, consider the electric field associated with uh, with the incident wave uh, be uh, represented as e i that means i indicates the incidence so electric field associated with the incident wave be ei and it can be written as uh, uh, with some amplitude uh, say e0i and uh, multiplied by some time and space dependent phase factor uh, that means e to the power suppose minus i omega t minus k i dot r uh, that means uh, the electric field uh, it's a oscillatory oscillatory field and um, during oscillation uh, it will propagate along the direction of ki and ki is the wave propagation vector and which is along the direction of the 
ray that means incident wave ray so the direction of ki is along uh, the ray uh, that means ei is equal to e0i e to the power minus i omega t minus uh, ki dot r hmm. one may use here the sine or cosine term that means the real part or imaginary part of this uh, total expression but uh, here i am just doing the more general term so i am writing ei is equal to e0i it is the amplitude and multiplied by this exponential phase factor now similarly uh, the electric field associated with uh, reflected wave uh, can be represented as er is equal to e not r that means it is the amplitude e to the power minus i omega t minus kr uh, k capital r uh, dot r uh, that means uh, the electric field associated with the reflected wave here uh, the electric field associated with the incident wave ray is equal to uh, ei and its ei is equal to the um, amplitude that means suppose it is uh, e not i and multiplied by some time dependent and space dependent phase factor and this phase factor can be written in exponential form e to the power minus i omega t minus ki dot r where uh, ki is the wave propagation vector of incident wave ray and the direction of uh, ki that means the direction of wave propagation vector is along the direction of incident wave ray that means the direction along this vector so ki is directed along this direction similarly the electric field associated with the reflected wave that means uh, it can be written that uh, er is equal to uh, with amplitude e not r and also with some exponential phase factor e to the power minus i omega t minus kr dot r where kr is the wave propagation vector of reflected wave and it is directed along the direction of reflected wave ray that means along this direction kr similarly uh, the transmitted wave ray can be represented that means the electric field of transmitted wave ray can be written that uh, et is equal to with amplitude e not t multiplied by the phase factor e to the power minus i omega t minus kt dot r and kt is the wave propagation vector of the transmitted wave ray and is directed along this direction kt so uh, clearly it is the representation of uh, the electric fields associated with these three electromagnetic wave ray and uh, it is clear that the frequency of the oscillation of uh, electric fields associated with these uh, three different electromagnetic waves are equal because uh, frequency of oscillation is the fundamental property of an electromagnetic wave the frequency of oscillation uh, does not change with any other external factor like the uh, medium of propagation or any other factor factor etc so the frequency of oscillation remains constant and here also uh, the wavelength can change from one medium to another medium that means uh, though the frequency remains constant even after passing the boundary of two different media but the wavelength can change from one media to another media so uh, clearly the incident wave and the reflected wave are propagating uh, through same media uh, same medium with uh, dielectric constant k1 so the electromagnetic wave possesses the same value of uh, wavelength uh, lambda for this two different electromagnetic wave ray so we can write that uh, lambda i is equal to lambda r that means the uh, wavelength of the incident wave is equal to wavelength of the reflected wave so um, here we can write that twice pi by lambda i is equal to twice pi by lambda r and so we can write that ki is equal to kr 
so the magnitude of wave propagation vector for incident wave is equal to the magnitude of the wave propagation vector for the reflected wave but the wavelength of the incident wave or um, or reflected wave can be different from the uh, wavelength of the transmitted wave because uh, incident wave and reflected wave transmitted uh, or propagated uh, uh, through the first medium with dielectric constant k1 but the transmitted wave are propagating propagating uh, through the second medium with dielectric constant k2 so here we can write that uh, lambda t that means the wavelength of the transmitted wave will not be equal to lambda i and also lambda t will not be equal to lambda r so that means uh, kt is not equal to kr and kt is not equal to ki so ki is equal to kr but kt is different from this uh, the from this ki or kr now uh, here uh, we shall apply the principle of continuity of uh, tangential component of electric field vector at the boundary of two interfaces interface that means here we shall apply uh, the expression e2t is equal to e1t at the boundary or uh, this uh, boundary condition is valid for any point on the boundary surface and also at any instant of time <laughs> now uh, e2t that means the tangential component of the electric field in the second medium uh, is equal to the tangential component of the electric field in the first medium and here clearly in the first medium there are two waves one is incident wave and another is reflected wave so the tan tangential component of the electric field uh, at the first medium is equal to the sum of the tangential component of the electric fields of the incident wave and the reflected wave that means e1t is equal to uh, tangential component of the incident wave that means ei parallel or ei tangential plus tangential component of the reflected wave er parallel or er tangential and similarly uh, the electric field that means the tangential component of the electric field of the second medium that means e2t is equal to tangential component of the electric field associated with the transmitted wave that means uh, et tangential or et parallel so we can here write from this equation or write from the principle of continuity of the tangential component of the electric field that ei parallel plus er parallel is equal to et parallel so uh, uh, here also we can put the value of ei parallel and er parallel et parallel in this equation and here we can write that the tangential component of ei that means the tangential component of the amplitude e naught i parallel e to the power minus i omega t minus k i dot r plus uh, uh, the tangential component of the amplitude of that factor that means uh, e naught r parallel e to the power minus i omega t minus k r dot r is equal to uh, e naught t parallel e to the power minus i omega t minus k t dot r and this is the uh, equation which can satisfy the continuity of tangential component of electric field at the boundary surface of two different dielectric media and uh, this is valid for uh, as we all know that this is valid for uh, any point associated uh, or situated on the boundary surface and it will be valid at any time instant so 